Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. This is my Christmas video coming up a couple of days, I think, before Christmas. And today I'm going to be opening the 2022 Diamine Inkvent calendar. Here it is in all its beautiful green glory. Let's get into it. Now I've opened them all, let's swatch them! I'm using my Tomori River book which has the really thin paper and first up we have Bliss which is a stunningly beautiful aquamarine colour. It's a standard ink so there's nothing else added to it. Yule Log on the other hand is a shimmer ink and does contain some mica. This will show up once the ink dries. Solar Storm is a chameleon ink so it also has mica but in a different colour to the ink itself. It's kind of a bluey green colour. Spruce is scented and it's got a really strong piney smell. Not a big fan of scented inks. Thankfully there's only a couple in this set. Spiced Apple is another chameleon and there is a gold shimmer within the red. Up next is Ghost which is a standard ink and it's a grey but there's also a pink undertone which will show up later once it dries. 
All of these inks are designed for fountain pens so they're incredibly translucent and they will reactivate with water so try not to splash your page. Alpine is a lovely solid green ink but with this gorgeous shimmer that comes through and that changes totally when it dries. Jingleberry is a standard ink, a lovely magenta. Cardinal is another standard ink. I really like this lovely bright red. Perfect for Christmas. Dusted Truffle is up next and I was spending a bit of time shaking every bottle to make sure the mica was mixed in. This one is also a shimmer. Appletini is a standard ink, a really translucent bright green. This is probably one of the brightest in the whole set. You can see me shaking the bottle here for the next one. Memory Lane is a shimmer. This one's absolutely beautiful, although it's really hard to see when they're wet. Upon a Star is a chameleon ink, so it's a very dark blue, but has a reddish shimmer to it. The only annoying thing is the mic is really heavy so you have to shake it and use it immediately which is why I'm doing a second layer to make sure I get some of that shimmer in. Three Kings is a standard kind of yellow ochre ink, about the only yellow in this set. And then I'm shaking up the next one. This is Pick Me Up which is scented and sheen and it smells like chocolate. Slightly better than the spruce one. It also has a slightly green sheen to it. Serendipity is shimmer and sheen. The sheen is more of a shine than a sparkle which the shimmer has. Flame is a standard orange which came in quite useful in my painting. Olive Swirl is another chameleon so it's a green ink with a blue green mica. This is the first year that the Inkvent calendar has had chameleon inks and I really like them. Silent Night is a standard ink in indigo or Payne's grey. Arctic Blast is a chameleon and sheen. The chameleon part is like a greenish colour and the sheen is red so that one changes so much when it dries. You'll see this in a little while. But next we have Cozy Up, a very translucent standard ink in kind of a peachy pink colour. And next is Deck the Halls which is a chameleon. This one's also really pretty, it's got a pink shimmer in it which really stands out. If you look to the left, that memory lane has such an amazing shimmer as it's drying. Celebration is a shimmer ink, kind of similar to Cozy Up but it does have that extra shimmer to it. One More Sleep is a standard and that's a really pretty one which kind of goes pinky as well. And Christmas Day is Best Wishes which I think is a chameleon and sheen. Now that they're all dry, let's take a closer look. You can probably see all of the shimmer has really come up to the top. And I've got ink on my finger. I always manage to do it despite my best efforts. <laughs> so if I come over this side, you can see the shimmer in Yule Log over here. And Solar Storm has that chameleon one. So it's kind of a dark blue, but it has a green shimmer and that's really pretty. Spruce is the scented one, but it does have a little bit of a red sheen in there, which I think is quite interesting. And Bliss is pretty much a standard, so it's just a nice translucent blue ink. I really like that color. Spiced Apple, that's definitely got a bit of a gold shimmer in there for that chameleon look. And Ghost is standard, but it has got a slight undertone of pink, which I think is really pretty. Alpine is definitely a shimmery one, and Jingleberry is a standard flat colour. It's a muted version of magenta, I would say. Down in the bottom, Cardinal, that's very much a Cardinal coloured red. Dusted Truffle's got a nice shimmer. Appletini's another flat one, but I like the green, that's a really bright one. Memory Lane is absolutely beautiful. The shimmer on that is stunning. And then up to this side, Pond of Stars definitely got a chameleon look to it with the red and the blue and there's heaps of shimmer in that up the top. Three Kings is a fairly standard. This is the only yellow I have in the collection and it's more of a quinacridone gold or yellow ochre so it's slightly more muted. Pick me up, I am seeing a slight sheen especially around the edge up here. We could see that and it does smell quite a lot like chocolate. <laughs> Serendipity has shimmer and sheen. Wow, you can really see that red when I just flick it in the light. That one's lovely too. Flame is a nice standard orange ink. Olive Swirl is a chameleon, so it's kind of an aqua shimmer to it. Silent Night is a standard ink, so that's a fairly dark one. Almost like an indigo, I would say. This Arctic Blast, I think, has got to be my favourite. The chameleon and the sheen in that. That's incredible. Look at that. That's so pretty. And down here we have Cozy Up, which is a standard ink. Next to it is Deck the Halls, which has a really pretty chameleon pink on top of the purple. I actually like that too now I'm looking at it more closely. Celebration is 
a shimmer as well and you can see it's a very very delicate shimmer to that one one more sleep is a standard nice pretty blue and last up is the large bottle with best wishes that has got what looks to be a shimmer and a sheen it could be all of them I'm not sure if it's chameleon it was hard to tell because it wasn't labeled on the bottle but it does have quite a pretty shimmer and sheen between a dark green and a bit of a red going on there so that's a good Christmassy color overall I quite like this palette it is mostly muted though there are a few bright colors especially the bliss cardinal and apple teeny also the flame and then there are just some really pretty shimmery sheeny colors I like these chameleon ones too so now I need to think of a painting and I'm going to paint with all 25 inks as I always do so let's get into that I had absolutely no idea what to paint this year so in the end I've gone for four little paintings inside a much larger one each one is an ornament and has a different Christmas animal inside the first one that I'm painting here is a robin redbreast I also have an Australian Christmas beetle, a squirrel, and a donkey. Four completely random animals, but they were the ones that inspired me. I used a plastic cup to draw the circles on the page. It was the perfect size, I was so happy. And I'm using an A3 sized sheet of watercolour paper. It's 100% cotton. Sometimes cotton paper isn't the best for these inks, but I really needed it in order to not have the inks just get really nasty. I'm adding in quite a lot of water as well and so I need that paper to be able to hold it. But actually this cold press paper does show the shimmer quite well in most places. Not so much on the Christmas beetle unfortunately, which is actually a really iridescent beetle. But I did my best with the colour palette. I spent time planning beforehand which colours to go with which animals and then any leftover ones are going in the background. Oi, that background. I kind of lost control of this painting. All of these inks are just really vibrant and you'll see that in the background. It's much brighter than I intended it to be and I added some gold iridescent ink as well from Dr. P.H. Martin just to tie the whole thing together. But I may have gotten a little carried away with that as well. Overall, I really enjoyed painting this. The animals turned out really well and if I'd have just left the background blank, I think this would have been really great too. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide which is better, background or no background.
hi, I'm Becky and I like to make a mess. <laughs> but I do like the little pictures. Maybe if I get sick of the background, I can cut those out and stick them onto something. My favorite is definitely the donkey. And there is some serious shimmer going on in this picture. Down the bottom here, there's quite a lot, and also on the donkey itself. If I do that, you could see that sheening in the light. Some of the other pictures have a bit of shimmer in them too, especially around the background here. And yeah, there's a lot of gold on here. Way too much gold. Some of it's still wet, so I'm going to have to let this sit and dry before I scan it in. Although you've already seen the scanned image. And here are all of my inks back in this box until I put them into my ink cupboard. So aside from the mess, I had an absolute blast painting this. The colors are so gorgeous. I really like how the pictures turned out, although unfortunately I did make a smudge on its eye, but otherwise I think they're really cute. I like the gold outlines. I think that makes it stand out a bit more. And then of course I just put too much gold on the background. So we'll just ignore that bit. I enjoyed all of the inks. I enjoyed opening this ink vent calendar. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Did you like the colors that were in the ink vent calendar this year? And do you like my art or is it a horrendous mess? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, I'd also love a thumbs up and if you want to click that subscribe button for more videos I will be making some more in the future. I hope to have one more maybe before the end of the year I'll see how I go but in the meantime I hope you all have an amazing holiday season an amazing Christmas and I will see you all again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!